have to talk about the types of sales. Okay, they have mainly two types of sales. First, we start with prokaryotes. Something uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting type of life. Okay, um, good examples are bacteria, and they are the uh, the first type of life that has ever emerged on Earth. So, for billions of years, billions, Earth was covered in in prokary prokaryotic life. Okay, the the, the the reason why they call prokaryotes it's because they do not contain a nucleus. They are a type of cell that has no nucleus uh, inside them, okay, or other type of membrane-bound organelles. So the, the the organelles inside a prokaryotic cell they are sort of loose. And I'll show you an image here. Okay, looks confusing. It might look confusing, but don't look like a actually a Lebanese cucumber, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, so you have inside 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 a prokaryotic cell you have you've got a protonucleus something they call nucleoid it's not a very well developed nucleus it's primitive okay we're looking back in the past here uh, things called like plasmids um, ribosomes and all floating around this liquid okay all floating around and you get to know uh, you have you have time to expand and to learn more about these types of cells in class and the second type of cell uh, I'd like to discuss with you it's something we call eukaryotes eukaryotes are, are totally different from prokaryotes because they have a true nucleus okay and they are the they represent the vast majority of 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 of, of the kingdoms okay animalia plantae fungi and protista including you and me so a eukaryotic cell uh, this is in this case is a plant cell, which is also in a carrier. It's much more complex and organized. Okay, uh, we have things called like mitochondrions, side ribosomes as well, Golgi body, uh, chloroplasts, which are responsible for gathering the light from the sun and transforming them and and carrying on photosynthesis, and a membrane-bound nucleus. Okay, that's really really important. Another good example here, let's have a look at typical animal cell. Whoa, Mrs. Silva, what's that? It's a typical animal cell found inside your body right now, okay? But Mrs. Silva, have, I, I, I'm not good with mem memorizing those names. Well, we have to understand their functions first, okay? There are things that I will not, uh, I will not allow you not to learn. Things that you need to know is uh, basically the mitochondrion. You need to know what a mitochondria is by the end of the unit, the Golgi apparatus. You need to know what a plasma membrane is. You need to know what ribosomes and the nucleus body, um, what, what they are and their function. That's non-negotiable, okay? But, of course, the more you learn about a cell structuring function, the better, okay? The better. Uh, another example here, a typical plant cell also complex okay chloroplasts are my favorite types of cells they are amazing little structures okay unfortunately we don't have chloroplasts if we had chloroplasts we wouldn't need to work i would sit there in the sun in a sunny day and have my my food okay that would be amazing but think but, but have a look at this the chlor the chloroplast also has a goji apparatus uh there are many similarities between plant and animal cells and it's also something that we will discuss in class. Summary for today, the cells are the smallest living units, not things, but units. Robert Hooke discovered cells using a simple microscope. Cells are small, okay? These are, remember, nanometers, billionth of a meter, but actually cells are not in the nanometer scales, but they are actually uh, in the uh, micrometer scales. There are also two types of cells, the prokaryotes, the ones that do not contain a nucleus, and eukaryote cells, the ones that contain a nucleus, membrane-bound organelles. I'll be making a video soon uh, with a better uh, uh, description of those types of cells, but I hope that this lengthy video will be enough to keep us working next week. See ya!